Hello there, I'm a member of the training team and today I'm going to show you how to create an off block on the schedule. Off blocks are used to signify any time that the doctor is not available to see patients. To create an off block, you want to bring up the day schedule by clicking on schedule from the system home page. Then right click on the time slot you want the off block to begin. This window will pop up, and this is where you can create the off block. You'll notice the first drop down menu will allow you to choose from two options fixed or unlimited. A fixed appointment has a start date and an end date, and a start time and end time. An unlimited appointment means that you can set up parameters, days and times, but with no end date. For example, Fridays 3 to 5 is an unlimited parameter because there is no end date. The doctor will always be unavailable from 3 to 5 every Friday. You can create an off block that is not reusable directly in this window. I'll show you that in a second. The other way is to have the reason the doctor cannot see patients as a to-do type option already created in the provider to-do types tab. As you can see, there are a number of options in this dropdown because they have already been created. To create any provider to-do type, including an off block, we're going to start at the system home page as well. And you're going to click on configuration, then practice, and then schedule. And then you're going to click on provider to-do types. Off blocks created in this view are reusable, and they can be added again to the schedule at any time. See the Schedule Provider To-Do Types help page for more information. You can click on that right here. Now let's go back to what I was showing you before. If you have a pre-configured off block you want to use, you can select it from the drop-down menu labeled Type. These are the to-do types that have been created in the other view. Like I mentioned before, you can also create an off block that will be usable only once for one particular reason directly in this menu. Let's create a simple off block for this demonstration. The doctor will leave early today to see his child's soccer game. Now we've already right clicked on the start time. And there it is, 4.30 p.m. Now I'll type in the information, but I won't select an option from the Type drop-down. Instead, I'm going to type in a label and the hexadecimal code to create a color. Now if you try to save this off block without a hexadecimal code, an error message will come up. Which can be a good thing, because the hexadecimal code is right there for the color white. You can highlight it, copy it, close out of the error message, and hit paste. Now this will create a white off block. Pre-configured off blocks will have the label and color already selected, of course. You can override the default pre-configured off block by selecting the field and entering in different information. You can then select the end time in the next drop-down menu. Let's select 8 p.m. Soccer games for your kids probably don't go that long, but certainly the doctor will end up being unavailable the rest of the workday. So that might be a good off block to create in this situation. So it's a fixed off block because Susie does not have a soccer game every Wednesday night. So let's go ahead and save it. And now as you see, your off block's been created. The doctor's available from 9 until about 4.30 that day. Now let me quickly show you an unlimited off block. If Susie had a soccer game every Monday night, not that likely a scenario, but okay. You click unlimited. We'd fill everything out like I showed you, but notice something. There's no end day. Just a start time and an end time. Now let's say for whatever reason I had to delete the off block. 
I would select the block in the day schedule. Then I go to edit block and delete block. That would be gone. Now let's talk about the advanced features available in creating an off block. You can click on the show advanced button to take you to a larger menu that will allow you to select more options. The advanced options include several important rules that you can select. You can use a number of appointments allowed rule to allow your practice to make an appointment in the off block should you ever need to do so. To do that, you would type in the number of columns that you want to be available for employment within the off block right here. Then you'd create it like last time, but let's not use Susie's soccer game as an example. Let's say a vendor is coming in that day. Now before the vendor comes in, you need to squeeze in an appointment for Jeff Johnson. You'd put a 1 in this box right here. Now selecting a service facility will provide a reminder of what location the patient uses when you mouse over the appointment in the system. That's not going to be every day, it's just going to be today. And it will be fixed. Let's say the fellow came in on short notice. And before we save, we need an end time. Okay, so now we've created an off block. That's a fixed appointment. It's a vendor meeting. Got the right color in there. We've got today's date. It's going to be from 9.30 to 10.30. And we're going to squeeze in one appointment really quick. All right, after you click save, as you see, it's created on the schedule. And then in this transparent column right here, you can create a quick appointment for a patient. Jeff Johnson's going to come in for a quick 15-minute appointment. There you have it. Now let's say your off block is supposed to repeat. You go to Show Advanced and you create a repeating off block in here. Say I'm going to create a six week seminar that happens every Wednesday. Now this box will allow you to choose days of the week or days of the month depending on what you're creating. In my example, I just fill out number of weeks, six, and the days of the week, Wednesday. I'm going to put in here what's going on. All right, so I've created the off block for my seminar. And I'm going to click Save. As you can see, the seminar appears in the schedule for this week, the date of this recording being the 24th. And I'll show you that it repeats. So next Wednesday, October 1st, the seminar will be there again. And likewise, on October 8th, the following Wednesday, the seminar will be there again, and so forth. Well, that's all there is to this video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click like at the bottom of the page. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.